Hey guys, Charles here with D2APDesigns.com. Um, last tutorial was an Illustrator tutorial where I showed you how to make this. Um, fairly simple, but uh, pretty cool. Um, and hopefully you guys learned something from that. And then I started thinking, why don't I show you guys how to import Cinema 4D and make it 3D? Because, you know, there's a ton of people wanting to do stuff like that, and uh, it's pretty simple. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. Now you have a few options here. You can select everything and then come over here and hit Unite and that'll make it all one. Um, that'll make everything simpler but when you import it to Cinema 4D you lose the options of like you know making everything fly together like this you know maybe the G, V, and F and all the all the other letters come flying together you know you lose the ability to do that because you know you can't separate them they're all you know one one object um, spline, whatever you want to call them. So, you know, you can do that if you're looking to make a basic intro, but if you want some, you know, everything to come together, then you're going to want to leave them separate. And um, you may want to come in here and um, just clean up some of these points. Like, you know, drag this out, you know, where it lines up better. So that way, not everything's not intersecting. It can help um, give your intro a cleaner look. Um, but it's up to you. So, um, for the sake of time, I personally am going to go ahead and just combine it because it'll make it a little easier. So, um, rather, rather we um, join everything together or we just leave it separate, doesn't matter. Uh, like I said, it's just going to help save me some time. But as far as um, importing it to Cinema 4D, nothing's going to change. It, you know, it's this, still the same process, it's just everything's you know, together now. So, um, we'll go up here to File. Uh, save as and um, you're going to want to save it as Illustrator. I'm just going to save it to my desktop and um, go ahead and I'm just going to leave it as Untitled. I'm going to hit save on it and then um, we're going to save it as an Illustrator 8 file. Go ahead and hit OK, OK and then in Cinema 4D I'm going to go to File and then um, Merge and then let's see here where is it? There's Untitled right there. Open it. Um, you can kind of do this whatever, centimeters, millimeters. I don't think it really matters too much. And then uh, scale. I'm just, you know, leave it on one. And then there it is right there. It's, it's not centered, but uh, if you want to center it, we can just go down here, type in zero, 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 apply, and it's in the center. So there you go. There's the um, path, um, the spline path, and then um, what we can do is go here, extrude nerves, drag this into the extrude nerves, and there you go. There's your 3D text. Just like that. And then obviously you can come over here and you know make it really long, add some caps to it. You know, import your text, you know, whatever you want to, or not import your text, but rather um, uh, add on your materials and whatnot. So uh, that's it, guys. This was a quick, simple tutorial. I'm just telling you guys how to do this. And uh, hope it helps. I'm out of here. Peace.